Oh yeah. Okay, There's like it. onions and everything in there too. Pork what intestine. do you call this one? In Isao baboy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe we go for this big slab of pork belly. Okay, let's Look do at it. This. Wow. Hanging from the meat hooks. How do we eat this now? That is a serious <laughs> chunk. Like there cavemen you go. here. Yeah. It's a boodle fight. Mm. What's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Foodie Mama PH and today Luke Martin of Chopstick Travel is going to be joining us on this Filipino food feast. Okay. We are here at El Mesa, uh, Clark Key here in Singapore and it's one of my favorite Filipino restaurants here. They offer not only Filipino food but also Spanish food to go with their cocktails. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. I know for this appetizers there are some that you have not tried before. Yeah I see some. Uh, <laughs> Probably since the last time I was in the Philippines that I've had Filipino food, so I'm pretty excited today. It's been two years. It's yes. been two years. <laughs> yeah. So let me introduce you to the got? appetizer. So we have here quail eggs fried in a batter. Yeah, like a beautiful orange batter. Yep. And then we have here the fried lumpiang Shanghai, which is like fried spring roll. Mm -hmm. Goes with the, I believe it's banana ketchup. Then we have here my favorite. Your favorite? Grilled pork intestines. Okay. <laughs> so I think they baste it in some yeah, kind yeah. of sweet sauce. Uh, served sweet with soy some vinegar. Sauce. Served with vinegar, of course. Of course. <laughs> and then uh, we have here fried pig's mesentery. They call it fried flour cracklings. Okay. And we call it chicharong bulaklak and goes with vinegar yeah. as well. Okay, I think we, we should start with some cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's got like Kahlua in it. I think he said there's Baileys in it as well. It's like really milky and creamy. Yum. All right. So which one are you most interested? Mm, well, I mean, this. You said this was your favorite, so maybe we should start with that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm. You know, I'm not afraid of the intestines. I'm not a huge fan of liver, but with vinegar, I mean, of course it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Okay, there's like onions and everything in there too. Pork what intestine. do you call this one? In Isao baboy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's like a sweet sauce on the outside. Definitely chewy. You can taste a little bit of the gaminess, but the vinegar like cuts through it. Definitely chewy. It's got a lot of um, texture in there. Chewy texture. Mm -hmm. Sweet marinade. I like it. It goes well with vinegar. Mm. You gotta have it with the vinegar. Can I go for one more? Oh, <laughs> let's go. This piece is a little bit smaller. Mm. Mm. So good. Anything with vinegar or just fall in love with it? Next. Let's get this crazy orange batter. What do you dip this in? Vinegar? Same vinegar. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. I'm gonna go for a full dunk. These are perfect little one biters too. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. It's creamy. The yolk is like not cooked all the way through. It's like soft boiled wow. on the deep fried. This is comfort food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna go for one more. <laughs> That's really good. This is what I love about Filipino food. Vinegar is my favorite to put anything on. Mm. I love that. I'm home. I remember seeing this <laughs> on the street of Manila. Let's go for the Shanghai. What do you call this? Lumpiang Shanghai. Lumpiang Shanghai. What do you say? It's banana ketchup? What does that mean? I think it's banana ketchup, yeah. Like actual banana? Yeah, it's a ketchup made out of bananas. I've never heard of that. Really? Really? It's You can only find it in the Philippines. Okay, let's try. Pork, yeah. Yeah, it's pork. Yeah. Perfectly crispy and seasoned. Goes well with banana ketchup. I feel like it's almost the same. Maybe just a little bit sweeter, a little bit fruitier. Not as like vinegary as mm. normal ketchup. Let's go for chicharron bulaklak. Chicharron. So what did you say this was? This is like the one that's attached to the intestines. The mesentery. Yeah. Okay, we're going all like biology on it. <laughs> on me here. Okay, so yeah. Vinegar. It does look dip? like a flower. 
Oh, it's crispy. Oh no, I dropped it in there. Some people thought it looks like a cauliflower yeah. that's been fried. Like a mushroom almost. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Super crispy. This is my childhood favorite. It's got like a texture though. Like it's crispy, but it's not completely like a chip. Like it looks like it's gonna be super crunchy, but mm. it's still got a little bit of a meatiness to it. Mesentery. I think that this might be a first for me. I eat this as a snack or with rice. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything goes well with vinegar right now. Oh my god. <laughs> vinegar is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Great start. Yep. You better be ready because the main course is the boodle fight. So we're gonna be feasting Kamayan style. So with our hands. Okay. I'm ready. I'm hungry. Let's go. Let's do it. There you go. Wow. Here's your uh, boodle fight. <laughs> Here at our mess. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, that slab of uh, pork. <laughs> Let me screw the other side, huh? Okay, hey, now we have mussels, crab, we have a inihao na yen po. We have also tomato salsa for your dips, and pancit canton, and also we have a pusit hipon, and mangus, sauce of bagoong, toyomansi with chili and vinegar. And of course, don't forget your okra, talong, and kampong for your vegetable. Okay, enjoy. Wow, thank, thank you. you very much. Good luck for you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah we're gonna need it. Okay. <laughs> this is intimidating to say the least. Yes, this is definitely a boodle feast. It's gonna be a fight for sure to eat all this. It, Why do they call it a boodle fight? Do you know? It's popularized by the army before. They just gather together and eat with their hands. You know, this means they provided us when you get the gloves on. I think we should start with the muscle. Here, this one's for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's sweet. Mmm. Very plump. Yeah. Juicy. Sweet and savory. Definitely sweet. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Maybe we go for this big slap of pork belly. Okay, let's Look do at it. This. Wow. Hanging from the meat hooks. How do we eat this now? That is a serious <laughs> chunk. <laughs> like there cavemen you go. here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boodle fight. Mm. Wow. And follow it with rice. <laughs> Just with your hand, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vinegar, must. Nice Especially with this fatty, mm. fatty pork belly. Mm -hmm. Let's Going. try the pancit. Fried the noodles. noodles. I think it's pancit canton. I don't think I've ever eaten noodles with my hands. <laughs> mm. Mm. Bell peppers in there. Fresh vegetables, yeah. Yeah. Still sweet. I think that's definitely the first time I've ever eaten noodles with my hands. <laughs> Okra. Just get one. Dip it in the bagoong. Mm. Mm. I've definitely had shrimp paste, but I don't know if I've ever dipped like a vegetable in it like that. I've never had that kind of style. Next, let's try the poset. Wow. Juicy. Grilled squid. It's harder to cut. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, here. Let me cut you a piece. Sorry, I thought you had a knife too. Set. Cheers. That's good. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Just same sweet sauce. Sweet marinade, yeah. Oh, I like that. It's soft with a little bit of chewy texture. Mm -hmm. Which one are you liking so far? That pork belly melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta give it for the pork belly so far. Okay, let's go for grilled prawns. These are always easier to eat with your hands. I should not have worn a white shirt today. <laughs> in the it's vinegar? A, it's a must it's still. A, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. totally right. So fresh. Love the grilled flavor. Those are bigger than the ones we had at the beach road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go with salted egg with uh, salsa. Salted egg with salsa. Yeah. yeah. More yolk than the white. And then let's get salsa. salsa. Salsa with salted egg. All right. Is this something you would eat in the Philippines? Yeah. Yeah. It's like an ensalada, which is like a salad. Yeah. Mm. So there's like mm. salty, creamy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. I love that. Mm. Have you had salted eggs straight from this, like from the mm. whole... Usually just cut up in pieces, but not like a whole egg like that. That's great with the salsa. Super refreshing. Yum. 
Have you had milk fish before? In Taiwan, milk Taiwan. fish is very famous. So I ate a lot of milk fish in Taiwan. In the Philippines, this is one of our favorite and one of the staple fishes as well. Okay, let's try it. I'm assuming this is marinated and then grilled. Because mm. normally the marinade contains vinegar as well. Can mm -hmm. you taste it? Yeah, I can. Do you feel like you want some vinegar? What do you think? I think it's marinated really. Right, quickly. right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I love milk fish. Such a meaty fish. Best boneless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll take a break first with the meat. I think we can try the eggplant. Veggies. This is such a cool presentation. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Hanging veggies. Yeah, I'm just going to take one piece here. Put bubble on. I think eggplant is my favorite vegetable in the world. When you roast it like that, it's so smoky, so creamy and soft. And it releases oh. its uh, natural sweetness yeah. as well. Oh, that is Love it. It tastes great with that shrimp paste too. Mm. Yeah. Next is tampong, morning glory. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Still crisp. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm. this is a serious feast. <laughs> and they said this is for three to four people? Uh huh. Easily. I think this could be for six. Oh, this is a uh, bulalo soup, which is like beef bone marrow soup. Beef bone marrow. Oh. Mm. Ah, so beefy. With the fried garlic in there. So Salad. good, savory. Super salty. Oh, that's really nice. That's so good. Yeah. That's really nice with rice. Oh, I could just drink that for breakfast. Let's go with the crab. <laughs> crab time? I'm gonna grab a claw. Look at that huge, huge crab. I'm gonna try to dissect the claw. <laughs> it's all the meat I was able to get out of there. It's not easy. I'm not a pro. No. I will never be. You can give it a try. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. Sweet. Wow. Really sweet, naturally sweet. It is a meaty crab, but I don't know how to yeah. go in. This is a skill set. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's really That's sweet. really sweet. It's so good. It's like there's tons of sugar in there. <laughs> yeah. Anytime there's crab, it just feels so mm. luxurious. This reminds me of the time we had crab in, uh, together at the... In Manila. Yeah, the fish market. In Dampa Seafood Market. Mm -hmm. There's actually quite a bit of meat, but it's just not easy to get. That crab is my favorite for sure. So this time let's try the pork belly with soy sauce, with onions, and some chilies. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Really smoky. Which dipping sauce did you like better with the... Vinegar. Oh, vinegar. Easy. Vinegar convert. <laughs> mm. Yum. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. Honestly, that soup might be my favorite thing. Wow. It's so good. Bolalo soup. Mm. This pork belly is a crowd favorite. Hey, cool oh. hog in the vinegar. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, everything's good. What's your favorite? Pork belly, the milk fish. You? I gotta give it up for the crab and the pork belly and the soup. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the soup. Yeah. Very savory. Yeah, very salty. I love oh. the fried garlic in it. Wow, what a meal, what a presentation. What a feast. Yeah, what a fight. What a fight. Masarap. Sarap? Yeah. You rarely say Filipino words, so you can say sobrang sarap. Sobrang sarap. Wow. Okay, there you go. This is our, one of our dessert here. Scramble. Scramble is the, one of the childhood. After merienda, they have scramble and the uncle tricycle, you know, the, Holding the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sells it off his yeah, bicycle. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So it's like ice cream and yeah, some no, marshmallows. Yeah, chocolate. marshmallow with the milk yeah. and the, with the coloring and the milk. And you just call it scrambled. And uh, yes, we use the crushed ice also. Oh, okay, crushed ice. You will love it. No scrambled eggs in it? No. Okay. <laughs> Miss Mo. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> lights on, lights off. <laughs> oh, Let's try it. Let's try it. Looks like we've got. A couple of different flavors of ice you cream. You have to mix it first, oh, mix it, okay. like halo halo. Right. So flavors were soaked in. This is like every little kid's dream. I, yes. I think Kayla's gonna want to join us for this yes. after, huh? It's my childhood favorite. Yeah. So That's mix right. it all up. Like, guys. Keep mixing it. Yes. All right. There's like powdered milk on top there with the marshmallows. Yep. And chocolate chocolate sauce. syrup. All right. I'm ready? ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Woo. Sweet. Wow. That's refreshing. 
Mm. I thought it was ice cream, but it's actually like shaved ice, isn't it? Shaved yeah. ice. Normally, it's served on a plastic cup. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Singapore weather. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah, seriously. Mm. That sounds good. I think it's just the stick o. Stick o. Mmm. Like coffee flavor. Mocha. Oh yeah, yeah mocha. Yeah. Kayla's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Hey Kayla. Kayla, you wanna try it? Come here. Kayla. Here. Is it cold? Cold? Okay. So look, here you go. All right. This is our uh, the best served also okay. in El Mesa. We call it special El Mesa Bibinka. We have uh, vanilla ice cream cheese with a chocolate fudge. Cheese. And, uh, garnish savory and number one bibinka. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Wow. Bibinka? Yeah, bibinka. It's like steamed rice cake with coconut and, and cheese. Cheese, yeah. That's pretty unique. Normally in restaurants, they put ice cream on top of any Filipino desserts. Yeah. So there's normally ice cream in there. Normally there's salted egg on top. Really? So it should be like sweet, salty. But I think here they use cheese for the salty element. Filipinos are pretty crazy about their desserts, aren't they? They love their desserts. Pretty That's unique true. stuff. Let's try. Oh, kind of warm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, that's phenomenal. I love that. Every time I see a dessert and I'm like, cheese? But then I taste it, I'm like, oh, jeez, it's good. Why not? In the West, cheese and dessert doesn't go together. Except for like cheesecake, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Oh. Very warm. I love that. Comforting. Not too sweet. That's yeah, not like too it. sweet. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Good with coffee. I can see why this is their number one. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more mm. Wow, that's phenomenal. Mm. Normally they sell this during Christmas season when people go to church side by side with the puto bumbum that I showed you yeah. yesterday. Huh? Like warm during nighttime. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for today's episode. <laughs> wow, yeah, it was amazing. And now I'm looking forward to doing it again in the Philippines. But the food here at El Mesa seems very authentic. It's more of like a high-end version of like what you can eat on the street in uh, the Philippines, which is a really cool concept. Huge shout out to Tito Boy for having us. The owner, Sunny in Alaska, thank you for allowing us to film here. And Tito Boy yeah, for Tito the Boy. huge humor <laughs> for entertaining us the yeah. entire time. Big thank you, El Mesa. And and yeah, that's it for today's episode. Check out our interview video. I'll put the link in the description box below. Our Singapore series and Luke's Philippine series coming soon. Mm -hmm. So goodbye from Singapore. See ya. That's a wrap.